Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a file organizer in Python. So let's get started. So what I mean by a file organizer is, if you have files inside your folder and they get messed up, if you downloaded many things, if it's a PowerPoint 2, a JPEG, have downloaded every type of extension, and then you, you want to find something specific, it'll be very hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a Python script to do this all for us so this is called automation and in this automation we're gonna organize those files so uh, every file will go by its extension to its own folder so jpeg we're gonna make a folder called the jpg jpeg and then we're gonna send that uh, file to the folder pretty simple so the first before we start uh, coding let me show you the uh, demo so the demo uh, so this is the application what we're going to do is we're going to copy the location, then we're going to paste it over here. We're going to click Organize. As you see, everything has been organized. It's like magic. By the way, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using VS Code. I'm going to open up VS Code, and then we're going to click on File, Open Folder. Uh, I have already made it, but I'm going to delete the code, uh, and then I'll do it all over again. We're going to use two modules. And then after we finish the core part, we're going to import taking tier 2. So, first, we're going to import OS. Then we're going to import shootel. We're going to use OS to find the location of that directory. And we're going to use shootel to move it uh, to the folder we have created. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna need, we will need two variables now. The one is path and the other is files so, so the path is where the directory is and the files is what is inside the directory so we're gonna make this an input we're gonna say enter uh, path we're gonna use os dot list dir and then we're gonna pass in path so what this means is that if you spend some time in the command prompt you know that if you type in dir it'll show you the files that are inside that directory so in os we're gonna use a list dir okay good now we're going to make a for loop so we can iterate through those files so we're going to say for files in files what we're going to do is we need the name and extension so we're going to say os.path.split text split one one t actually split text files what we're doing here is we're going to make two variables to one thing so when we import when we uh, when we use the split text of the file we, we're going to split it into two things the name of that file and an extension the extension is whether it's a png jpeg or and so on and the name is what we named it at, at first so now if we print that what we're going to get is uh let me just paste uh, the location of what we're going to be fixing today and then after that, you see uh, the files, uh, you see the files, uh, and so on. So, so you see all those files. Now, after that, what we're gonna do is, is uh, we're gonna say extensions, extension, will equal to ex, uh, will equal to extensions, and make this. What we mean is, the it will start from the dot and so on until the end of that extension okay good uh let me just remove the s here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the part which is a little bit uh, confusing we're gonna go to the if statements so if os dot path dot exists excuse me is we're gonna say path plus extension what we're saying here is, if uh, after the, if we go to the path, we're gonna add slash and then the extension. If this exists, we're gonna move. We're gonna move. Uh, we're gonna move the files. We're gonna move uh, the files because this is a for loop. We iterate through every file, so each has its own turn. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna move this, which is the files. And we're gonna move them into their extensions. So to do that, we're gonna say path. We're gonna add a slash. We say extension. And after that, we're gonna add those files. Simple. Now, 
but if it doesn't have an extension let's say it doesn't have an extension what if it's a folder we're gonna have an else statement so we're gonna make a dir make a directory we're gonna put it in we're gonna put it inside here inside this location and then we're gonna move that file we're gonna move the path uh this file to the extension uh plus files we're gonna move it okay we're gonna move it uh right here now before we go to the gui part let's test it let's click run wait before that let me create clear it let's click run and then let's copy the directory and then enter so let's see it as you see every file has gone through it uh the their own folder it's like magic so now let's go to the gui part the gui part we're going to import custom tkinter what we're going to do is we're going to make a instance we're going to call it app from custom tkinter import asterisk actually now we're going to say app.geometry uh we're going to set it to 600 by 400 and what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this stuff. Uh, we're gonna replace this stuff with. Uh, we're gonna replace the path with a CTK entry. We're gonna make the master the uh, the app where we're gonna display it. We're gonna make Z fonts inter semi bold. You can install it. I'll leave you a, in a link in the description. And the width will be three hundred. Now uh, the file uh, will be as it is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, place it in the path because if we, we we need to place it on the screen. So we're gonna place it like this. When that's is this is the location, we're gonna anchor it to the center. Okay, this is good. And what we're gonna do is just make it a, uh, let's have a title file organizer and we're gonna make this a function though the for loops we have made. It's going to be a function because we're making a button. It needs a function to operate on. And here, we're going to say path.get. We get the values. We're going to set that to path. And the files will be the same. Now, we're going to make the label. So, we're going to uh, put in the label. We're going to make it a CTK label. It's going to be in the app. We're going to call it file organizer. I'm going to position it right here after that let's make the button so the button is so let's make the button and the button is going to be uh, like this we're gonna name it organize button it will be a ctk button and we're gonna put it in the app the text will be organized the font will be like this the width is 200 and the height is 80 and the command will, uh, the command is going to be organized so we're going to place it in uh, and then after that we're going to place it on the screen then what we're going to do is app domain loop so uh, it runs forever until we click the x button and the recessibility we're going to say false in the width and false in the height so we are finished now let's test this uh, again we're going to click on the run button and then we're going to go to the folder we're going to copy its location we're going to go here click paste and click organize and it has been organized so this is the end of the video uh, thanks for watching if you want the code it's on github or link in the description and uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment and share. Have a great day.